Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking cover page inside Microsoft Word. I mean the title of this video is how to put the image inside table, which is exactly what we will be doing today. So as you can see this is kind of like the usual layout of having multiple images in a grid like layout, which kind of makes sense if you maybe have your own images which aren't you know good enough to be as a full screen image or you want to have multiple images shown at the same time. So this will be a way how to do it in Microsoft Word. So let's start in a blank document and what I will, I will probably start with is to make some calculations. So I will run the calculator and let's say I want a grid which will be 3 by 4 cells and maybe the cells will be like a square size and maybe the square size could be maybe 2.4 inches for each cell so times 3 is 7.2. If I have the, lay uh, the layout, uh, the size of the paper being the letter, which is 8.5 by 11 inches, that means that 8.5 minus 7.2 is 1.3 divided by 2 is 0 0.65 margin from left and right side. So let's use it. It's a little bit smaller than usual, but I kind of like to have the smaller margins this time, just to make sure that the images are as big as possible. So I will go to margins, custom margins, and the left and right should be set to 1.65. Now for the top and bottom, if I again say 2.4 inches, which is the cell size times 4 is 9.6 and the paper size is 11 inches, so 11 minus 9.6 equals 1.4 divided by 2 is 0 0.7, which I will use for top and bottom margin. So now when the margins are set, if I insert a new table, it will try to fill the width of the page. So I will select insert table. And in here I will try to draw a table, I mean select the table being 3 by 4 like so. I will select the table by clicking this icon on top left corner to select entire table. Then I will jump to layout and jump to table properties. In here I will open options and I will set the margins for each cell to be 0. So I don't want any margins inside the cell, at least not for now. For the row I will set the specify height, which will be of course 2.4 and it will be exactly and the column should be 2.4 as well. Maybe I'll jump to options and make sure that uh, to uncheck the automatically resize to fit content so the cells will not change the size. I will click OK and nothing happened because maybe I have to do it one more time. Maybe it just didn't remember it when I you know, jump into the, the dialog, which is kind of strange, but that's the way how it is. Okay, and you can see a problem and I'm, I believe that just because this is just because of some kind of uh, Actually, I don't know why this is happening, but maybe some kind of rounding or, or you know, whatever. I mean, the easiest way how to fix it would be to make the margins just a tiny bit smaller. So I'll jump to layout, margins, and I will maybe make the top and bottom to maybe like, I don't know, 6, 9, 9. Let's see if this works or not, 6, 9, 9. Okay, it's not working. So let's do it. Let's do it with just, okay, it, it jumped to 0.7. So let's do it with just 0.6 and 0.6 and this should be working to have the table on one page okay perfect so now now when the table is set there's actually not much what we have to do with the table itself except for trying to paste images so i'll open my browser and what i've done is inside the pixel website i'll, I'll just search, search for blue color because i don't have any specific for purpose for this uh, cover page so i'll just search some random blue images and maybe just start using some of those and paste those in my document. So I will just right click, select a uh, copy an image and inside Microsoft Word I will, I will either press the control V on my keyboard or inside the home ribbon I will select paste and it's uh, just warning me I guess it's fine we can just paste it. Okay so now the image is there what I can do is I can resize it to fill the cell like this the important note is in the layout options we have to make sure that this image is inside the text it could be like you know it could be wrapping but we don't have to we shouldn't put it behind or in front of the text if i put it behind text it will you know suddenly jump out of the table the same way if i put it in front of the text it's just you know in front of the table it's no no longer in the table itself so what i have to do is make sure that it's in line with text or it will be you know in a square it doesn't make any difference those options they are you know really the same because we will only have images in the cells no text for it will be not shared for the text and image at the same time so what i can do is i can use this uh, you know handle to resize the image in any size but if i want to move it around i actually have to do it in a different way 
it I have to actually crop it. So I'll right click and select the crop option or crop button. And then I can move this image around freely. So I can maybe position it like this. And when I'm happy, I will just click outside and it will just, you know, crop it for me. So I can position it or move it to any any position. Okay, so this is great. Now I probably don't want to have like 12 different images. So maybe what I'll do is I will merge some cells together, which is always a good idea. So maybe I'll merge those two cells. So I'll select those two cells and in the design, actually in the layout, I will say I want to merge those cells. Maybe I will also merge those cells, those as well. And maybe those will be merged as well. I don't know. Maybe those two will be merged. This will be a little bit better just so there is some, you know, like randomness. Okay, and the next step is pretty obvious. I will just jump into my browser and select, you know, each individual images and just copy an image into clipboard, paste it somewhere. And there is this warning just that I'm pasting an image from the internet. M you know, you can, you can see that the, the flower is on the right, so I have to right click and select crop or I can jump to format ribbon and there is this cropping as well. So I can crop and I can position it just so the image or uh, the flower is visible. And I will just quickly try to copy and paste all the remaining images like so. Okay, so then we have clouds, whatever I've chosen, like random painting as well. So random painting, some abstract painting. I have some kind of lake, which is kind of cool because I can paste it in a way that maybe the, the divider between the lake and the sky is in the middle. So I can try to crop it in a way that it will somehow match this line visually, which is kind of nice. I also have, I believe, some kind of underwater picture. So I'll just paste it in here as well. And the last picture, I believe, is something like, a, a, you know, drop of the water. Okay, and you can see that I've intentionally left out those two cells. I will probably use those to add some text. So let me just grab this one to have it in the center like so. Okay, so we have all the images. Maybe I will use this cell to put in some, some text. So before I do so, I'll jump to design, actually layout, sorry, and I will change the alignment to be center right. And I'll type in anything I want. I don't know, maybe, you know, blue color, because this is blue color. This is the common theme for all the photographs. And for the font, I will use I will use probably this Source Sense Pro, which you can go download from Google Fonts. So I will use Source Sense Pro and I will make it much bigger, maybe like, I don't know, 55 points or so. For this cell itself, I can change the page background color, but before I do so, I will switch the color theme just so I have all the blue colors available for me in this in this color drop down menu. So I will jump to design and change the colors to be blue green. So now when I open the color drop down menu, I can see I have all those blue and green colors. So I will select this cell, jump to design and change the shading to be this blue color. And the text should be of course in lighter color. So I'll probably change the text to be white. Okay, what I don't like are those dividers in between the cells. So I will select the whole table, jump to design and for the borders, I will select, I don't want any kind of borders. Now you can see there is this one pixel borderline in between the cells and you may be thinking may, maybe these those images are too small, maybe they are positioned in the wrong way. But the thing is, it's not a problem with the images. It's a problem how draw uh, how Word tries to draw things. If I zoom in, you can still see it's just one pixel gap. If I keep zooming, the gap is still one pixel. So it's not a problem with the document. It's a problem of drawing of how Word is trying to draw anything, everything and it will not be visible in when you print the document. Now, maybe it's a little bit of distracting for you because those photographs are, you know, everything is dark and blue and we are seeing this white uh, white uh, line. So maybe we can, you know, select the whole table and make sure that shading is set to blue for all the cells, which will kind of make this a little bit less visible if, if that's what we want to do. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that the blue color is too much on the right side if we keep it this way. So we have two different options. I can either jump to layout and open the uh, cell margins and maybe I can set the margin for this individual cell to be right margin, maybe 0.2. So it will not be that much on the right side. Or what I will probably do is I will try to extend this cell more to the right so it covers, it goes over the page. 
Now there are multiple ways how to do it, but my favorite way would be to just add a new column. So if I you know move my move my mouse, actually let me zoom in a little bit. If I move my mouse over the table, I should see this this plus you know button which will just add a new new column. Obviously this column will go will go over the page outside of the page which is perfectly fine. It will have a blue background color because the entire table has blue blue background color. So I will select all those four cells and in the design I will change the shading to no color. But those three cells should have the blue background color. I believe I've used this one. Okay, like so. So now we have one cell going outside of the page. Everything looks great. Maybe if your you know if your printer supports like printing all over the edges, we can also set the page background color. And that's as easy as jumping to design, opening a page background color and changing a different background color. Maybe maybe black or just some kind of dark blue color works fine. Okay, so that's it. That's how you create a nice looking you know, cover page, that's how you paste images inside the table to make sure that everything is aligned and, you know, looks fine. And hopefully you will be able to use this knowledge for your own project. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.